What is Stormworks? What is this game? What's it about? Yeah, it was originally a build and rescue game, but... That's out the window. No one really does that anymore. So, what is Stormworks? Well, that's a good question that I'm going to try to answer. And I don't know how to answer it, because Stormworks is many things. Stormworks is a PvP game. Stormworks is a PvE game. Stormworks is an open world game. Stormworks has battleships. Stormworks has tanks. Stormworks has land vehicles. Stormworks has air vehicles. Stormworks has everything. And that's all it has. No one really gets anything from Stormworks because Stormworks has everything. No one can learn every single thing. Because Stormworks has too many things for everyone to learn. For example, this nuclear reactor. I'm pretty sure this took me a week to figure out. And you wouldn't expect that. Because it's just a game, right? But this game is so intricate and it has every single thing. It's ridiculous. You have to build everything. Unless you want to just download it off the workshop. Of course, just get other people's vehicles, but I like to build my own stuff. Every single one of these blocks does something. It might not do a lot, but it's probably some sort of importance to something going on on this ship. Everything has a job. I know because I made the thing. All of these pumps, they're all pumping out water in case the boiler, or not the boiler, the hole starts to flood. And if the hole starts to flood, it's got bulkheads. To close the bulkhead, you go up into the top and it'll alert you when your bulkheads are flooding and you can close the bulkhead doors. I made this thing so that it's got all the weapon systems you should need, an AA gun, some main guns. If I turn them on. They all turn. But... That's not much, right? It's just getting stuff to turn in one direction. Here is one of the, like, 20 microcontrollers powering this system. I don't even know what's in it. I didn't make these microcontrollers. They're too intricate for me. This is all the code in this one. And this isn't even the code. This is. And there's a whole bunch more like them. I don't understand much about the actual code. But I do understand all these. I just have to look at for about 25 minutes. Anyway. This is a complex game. And you don't understand it right away. No one ever does. <clears throat> it's got so many different things. That you just don't know what to do first. I don't know. I still don't know. I have 450 hours in this game. Which, you'd think I wasted my life, but Stormworks is, Stormworks is very complicated. And it's all about almost, like, real physics. Or it tries to get to real physics. Like, this engine. This has so many things it has to power it. All these displays. This takes a whole bunch of code. All these assists, position control, all this. Very complex to do, I know, because I'm not the best at making helicopters. This is one off the workshop. Someone else made this. That's why the workshop's a thing, because no one really understands what to do in Stormworks. It, as I've said time and time again, it has too many things. There's even space now. They came out with the space update. The space update allows you to go to the space. Even to the moon. It's cool. I love it. I'll show you here in just a second. But 
the fact that there is so much in one game, this game is not a very popular game for what it is. This game has so much to offer, and that might be the problem. It's too much. No one may want to play it because it's got so much to do that no one wants to play. I built this rocket. It doesn't have any doors. I just, I got bored. When I say I got bored, I mean, I just didn't want to do it anymore. Oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't hook up any fuel systems. And this say you get to space. This might be very loud. So, hang on. There we go. As you can see, has zero aerodynamics, which is why this thing's constantly trying to tilt and I constantly have to try and redirect it. There is so many physics and my game's frozen, but there we go. This is just one of the things you can do. You could spend 450 hours on space alone, and you might just make the perfect rocket in that 450 hours. But then, you'd need to do something else, because now you like the game, you're into it. Well, I'm going to try and build a ship. After six hours of learning how to build a proper hull, you finally know how to build a ship. So you're building these ship holes, and you're like, well, how do I make it look good? And you don't know. You just, it's such a learning curve, but it's so fun. Because learning usually isn't fun. Like, speak of school. School doesn't seem very fun, but, and maybe to some people it is. But this game is fun because it's not like school. No one's forcing you to do it. It's just fun. And I'm trying to control this rocket. It's very difficult when there's absolutely no air to help. I can turn off the rockets now. But, yeah, space. I could go to the moon, but that takes like 15 minutes. And, of course, everything's scaled down because, you know, that would be no fun. But it's one of the many aspects of this game. Hmm, what's something else we can do? Perhaps fight the AI, since they take, they've take, they taken the, as these islands. You can go bomb them with a uh, plane. In fact, let's see planes. I'm not the best pilot in this game, because I rarely deal with planes, because every time I build a plane, it usually is off balance. Now, of course, try and counteract that, but then I just make it worse. I, I still know how to build a plane. So, we're going to get one off the workshop. How about the F-14 Tomcat? There we go. As you can see, people jam-pack logic in these small things. I don't know how they do it. I, I really don't. Because I always think, I'm getting good at this game, and then I look at something like this. And I'm like, first off, how do you design that? Second off, how do you get the systems in it? I don't know what they did first. I just don't. I think my parking brake was on. It still took off. It's fine. There we go. Landing gear. And it has all these missiles and stuff. And they're not just props. They're all active. Like that. Oh. I think vehicle damage is off so it didn't blow up. But there are missiles. Oh, no, it's on. I don't know why it didn't blow up. There are lots of things in this game. You can transport passengers. You can do what the game was originally made for. You can go rescue artificial intelligence. Try and solve problems. For example, the rescue ship, the first thing I showed you, I just made that, and it has water cannons and everything you need to attempt to save a ship. Or people on the ship. It has a medical bay. has a water cannon. And if it were to start sinking. I made catwalks in it. It's intricate. It's 
built to try and last. For example, this flare system, if there's a missile shot at it, it should shoot chaff at the missile to try and scramble its radar. This port end right here, that's trying to keep carbon dioxide out of the engine room. That way when you go down there, it's not deadly. I built catwalks in the engine room with this floor here. Engines catch fire. Hang on, I got a fire or welding torch. Attach your hose, emergency hose system, and you spray down the engines. And these can probably go all over down here. I haven't tested that yet, but yeah. For example, your batteries catch on fire, you can get those too. I could have just made a spray system, but there's no fun in just having an automatic system put out your fires. It even has a alert system. If the engines overheat, radar, or not radars, uh, lights will start going off. These lights, these buzzers, there are a whole bunch of things that will start to go off. And you know what? Let me just show you all the wiring on my ship. This is all like the logic related wiring. This is all the electricity. This is the video. There's not much video because I don't have many screens yet. Some audio for communications. Bunch of rope. And yeah. This, you wouldn't expect a game so simple. Like, come on. It's just wedges. Just wedges and blocks. How, how intricate could it be? But then you start to play the game and you realize, wait a second, I can't build an engine. Because it's just, like, look at the life raft. It's, yeah, it's pretty simple right but it has a battery on it because it needs to be able to power itself it has a flare on it that way in an emergency you could turn it off if the ship is sinking and the life rafts one of the only things above water you detach the ropes as you could hear they all snapped back and then this would just come off like I said this game very intricate this water cannon on the front here I'll show you how to Use that. If I can open a door. Can't figure that out these days. I have a spotlight that turns on when you turn on the monitor. That's the infrared mode. Because dark. And you can start spreading out the water cannon spray. Like this. See it getting wider and wider. You can spread out if you want. And then you can put it back. It's ridiculous how much is in this game, and you wouldn't expect it. And you'd think, well, yeah, nice water cannon. Well, what if you want to get right there with it? Hang on. I, I, yeah. Grab this. Actually, hang on. You don't need that hose. Just grab this. There you go. Now you're the one holding the water. You can be up here doing it. Then just reattach it. And it's back to the water cannon. I'll show you a little bit of building. Or, you know what? How about the building blocks? This is everything you can build within the game. Most of it has a purpose. For example, the modular engine section. All these are used to build one engine. Besides, like, the cylinder 5x5 five five is meant for a 5x5 five five engine. The 3x3, three 3x3 three, three three engine, so on and so forth. But all these, when they're put on an engine, have a purpose. The exhaust, I mean, wheels, tanks, tank tracks, it's, <laughs> the game has so much, you just need to play it to see. Sadly, it's only available on computer, but they just add these pitchable propellers, which is used on this ship. I use it like a clutch for the engine, so that means it's also got reversed just by that propeller. I'll turn on the engines and show you. Why not? Put on these lights to show that the engine is on because it's a push to toggle system. You think it's just a push button, you have to hold it down instead of a toggle button like this. But, yes. Anyway. As you can see, the propeller's spinning, but we're not moving. You press W and it starts moving. Moving a little bit more. A little bit more. Uh, there you go, now you can see the exhaust. And I like to bring this down, this thing down to about 14.5 on the RPM. That's still 15. 
but it's about the perfect for efficient. It's about perfect for efficiency, really. That's all it is. It's as much speed as you can get for anything. Horns. That's the light. Horn. Radio system. Built by Mr. In Jersey. A wind system, so you can see what the weather is. A system so you can find lost boats. Anyone with their transponder on. It's cool what this game has. Hey, you want to join a multiplayer server because this game is multiplayer? And you want to do some PvP because you play a gun game? There you go. You have a rifle. This is a medical ship. Yes, I understand that, but they are allowed to have short-range weaponry just for defense. And they have way more equipment than just this. This is nothing. Flare gun, flare gun ammo. I, d I didn't put a door up there. I should probably have some sort of door up there or something so you can shoot the flare gun. But flares. Where's that? Oh, it's over there. There you go. Flares. I need to reload. Anyway. Uh, up here. Uh, anything else? Beds. I was kind of lazy with this room. So, yeah. I think that's all with just this shit. Wait. Medical bay. Because medical ship needs medical bay. And that sound you're hearing? Those are the, all the fans. That are used to cool the engines on this ship. Recently, Stormworks had an update which broke some of the cooling system, so now you need way more cooling than you probably would. But as you can see, these are at 22 degrees. Let's see what the engines are at. I could have just gone down that hatch, but... Up here, 50 degrees. So, it's moderately getting everything done by getting all the water and stuff up there. This ship had serious overheating issues. Here. All the pipes you see, not, not these black ones, but all the white ones, those all do something. Every single one of them. These generators, they're generating electricity for the ship. Engines, of course, powering the ship. As you can see, you need fuel, air, exhaust, coolant. You, the... It, it, it's just complicated. I can't even explain it. I tried to make this video as short as I could, but there, I even have relays. And I'll sh No. Okay. Anyway. Thank you for watching. This is just a simple explanation of Stormworks. Very, very simple. Because this game is too much for one video. You need to watch everything on YouTube for the game to even be noticeable because the game has so much it's ridiculous and I just keep falling I need to put something here like a door or something there we go but yeah firefighting gear I go firefight woohoo you can do it anyway thank you for watching see you guys later and uh we're about to hit an island